Hey guys, it's May May, and check out this adorable little book from Graphic 45. Now, this guy is their ATC book, but you know me, I gotta use it for something else, and I think I got a fun idea I'm gonna tell you about. Now, this book comes with these four little tags, and what we're gonna be doing is gonna feature some tags, but we're gonna do something super fun. We are doing a married edition date night, or actually December date night. That's what we're calling it, December date night. Now, why do I say married edition? Because this is for married couples. So here's what I want to tell you. When you print this out, you need to read over them and choose the ones you like. You may not you may not like all of them, but you might like some of them. So I'm going to have a free printable for you. And I won't go through all of these, but I want to show you. So we have a free PDF in the description that you can just click and go print. And I'm going to give you a blank page so it won't have these words in it. So you can make up your own if you want to. So December date nights, play Christmas music and journal old Christmas memories. Wouldn't that be cute? Attend zoo lights or a local drive through light event. Attend a Christmas play, musical, or event. Donate pet food to the Humane Society and wear antlers to drop it off. Just lots of different little date night ideas. Now, I actually, I've given you, I want to say this is 36 different nights. Of course, you don't need 36 Christmas dates. I'm actually only going to be making enough for this album. So let me show you. Let's, let's look at this album real quick. So you've got these plain pages here. Then you've got pocket pages here. And you even have slots in some of them. So for plain pages, we're going to just be making photo spots. so We can take pictures during our date night. And then on these pages that have pockets here and inside, we're going to be putting our date night um, tags here and our journaling pages here. Enough of that. You want to get started. So as we go, I'll tell you kind of the numbers that I made and all that good stuff. So let's start with making our tags. So these tags I have cut from the Christmas time collection. That's graphic 45. This is one. It's two and a half wide by four tall. And I'm going to use my large angle punch and just come right here and make it a tag. So that's what I'm using to make my tag. You can do anything. I've shown you how to make tags a bunch of different times in different ways. So you can make your tags any way you want. Now I made enough of these guys to go into the pockets of the book. Now, this is where your date nights are going to live. Now, you, ha you have options. So, if you only put one date night per slot, you can do eight date nights. And I personally think eight in December is a lot. I mean, between family gatherings and things like that, eight nights may be too much. But you could do eight if you only put a date night on the front. Now, if you decide to put a date night on both sides, you can get 16 in, and that's totally up to you. I'm only going to put it on the front, just one date night, and that's what's going to go in my little um, pocket. So, I'm going to glue these guys on and then poke a hole and add some ribbon. So, I would suggest running through and picking out the date nights you want and then um, gluing them down. These I printed on cardstock, so they'd be nice and sturdy. Okay, so I glued my tags on, but I decided something. Instead of just putting them on one side, I went ahead and put them on two sides. That way, when we pull one out, if we want to choose from one side or the other, we can. So I have lots of little things in here. Now, if through my video, you notice I did not add any of the charity uh, things that are in there, like donate and things like that. The reason I didn't is because Vince and I already have very specific charity things we do in December. So I'm not going to add those as date nights because I'd because we're already going to do those, and I wanted to do date nights up ahead instead. But we have added a lot of different things you can do for charity and around your um, community and things like that to the choices. Okay, so hole punch. So I'm just going to use my crop dial here, and I think I can do several at a time. I like when I can do a bunch at a time. Let's see if I can. So we'll just do it like that, and then I'm on, I think I can do the rest of them all at one time. That'll be nice. So what I'm going to do now is put my ribbon through my tags. And I had this little bit of ribbon left on one of my um, ribbon spools. And I thought, I'm going to use this up in this album. So I'm just going to use white on all of them. But that will be fine. And I'm just going to pull my ribbon through one time like this. And instead of tying this or anything, I'm going to staple it. Because I just think it'll be neat to add a little bit of... Um, a little bit of metal or kind of grunt. It's graphic 45, so that's kind of a thing you do. So I'm going to see if I can do this without too much trouble here. Let's get this lined up straight. I'm just going to staple it at the top there. See, that's kind of cool, right? Just to add a little something. And then, of course, I'm going to trim these and fray check them. You see how I kind of messed that one up. But I'll come back and fray check all of those and make them clean and neat. So I'm going to do that to all of my tags. 
So I got all my little tags made, so they are gonna live right inside our little pockets like this. Isn't this adorable? I just think this is such a good idea for something different. Like, I don't I don't think I've ever made a date night any kind of craft. I mean, maybe like the little jars where you pull out a little idea. I've probably done those in the past, but I think this is a cute way to start some new traditions for Vince and I. So I'm gonna slide these into here, and then we'll go to decorating the pages. Now for these single pages that are kind of floating in between all of the tags, I wanna cover them with pretty paper, and then I wanna add the photo from our stamp set that is called Oh Snap. I think this will be so cute because what I wanna do is I wanna put um, a picture from our nights together, from our um, whatever we're doing or from whatever our events are. I wanna have a place to put pictures. So this way I can put a picture on both sides. So I thought you might enjoy this. This is my very, very old packaging, like from my original when I released stamps the very first time. But the stamps that I'm using is called Oh Snap. I'm gonna use the photo frame right here. So here's what I'm doing. I cut out a bunch of these guys and I cut my paper to, I think it's three by three and a quarter, but that's not gonna matter because I want more paper to show. So I'm gonna end up trimming these down even a little tighter, but to get them all stamped, this is what I did. And you only have to have like 16 of these. So it's not really that bad how many you have to do. So that's what I did first. And then I took another stamp from our stamp set called Action. And the one that says place photo here, I just think it'll be cute until I place a photo to have that right there. Isn't that cute? So now what I'm gonna do is just run through and trim these guys out right to the photo edge because I want more of the paper to show. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run through and I'm gonna glue these little guys down. These are just my base pieces I cut to go on here. And I cut these, let me tell you the size because I know you're gonna wanna know. These are three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So I'm just gonna run through and glue these in. Okay, so now that I have all of those glued down, I'm gonna go back through and put my little pictures down and I'm just gonna angle them a little bit. This is why I cut them all the way to the edge so I could get a little angle on them. And then I can come back and add stickers and things down here. So I'm just gonna run through and add a photo spot, one of these, to every flat page I just added. So I've cut for myself some pieces that I wanna be the journaling pieces that stick into the pockets of the album. So these pieces are three, how tall are these guys? Three and three fourths by six and a half. And I'm scoring them in half at three and a quarter and then just folding these in half. Now I'm just using white paper for my journaling. I don't mind. I'm gonna do this kind of like a Brenda journal where she jots rather than writing every single thing that we did or what have you, I'm just gonna jot down the memorable moments from the month, and I think that'll be cute. So I'm just gonna do that like that, and then I'll show you how we're gonna put a tab on them. Before I put the tab, I want to round the corners because I think they'll go in and out of the side better. So I'm gonna round it with a half inch, and I'm only gonna round the open side, not the folded side. I don't think it needs it and it'll give me a little, I don't know that it might be cute because it look like a little book. Let's try it. I think it'll be cute like that. So we'll round all four sides and then it'll look like, yeah, like a little book, too cute. All right, so let's do that. Now the tabs I'm gonna use to pull these guys out, I just made with a one inch scallop circle punch. I just thought that was pretty easy. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the tab on the folded edge. So I'm gonna glue it halfway and let it stick out. That way, when we put this into our album, we can put the open edge in. I don't know, it just feels like that makes sense to me. So here's how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put a little glue at the top here. I refilled my glue so it's very juicy there. And then I'm just going to stick this about halfway and I can use the scallops to help me decide what halfway is there. Just let that stick out just a little bit. It really doesn't have to stick out halfway because of the way the book is made, but I think that'll be cute like that. So this way, when I take this tab out, I can still open it and close it and write on it. If you fold a tab over, you're, you'll struggle with opening it unless you kind of fix it. There's a way to do it, but this is, this is easy for me, so I'm gonna do it this way. Then I'm just gonna take my next little page and line it up. Put a little glue here. These are gonna have to overlap slightly because I need to get four on here and these are one inch circles. But this way I can kind of match that one next to it. Now remember, they won't be touching each other in the book so it won't. they don't have to be perfect. But that is gonna get the job done. So just to talk about this, whenever I say a jot journal, so Brenda taught me this when I first met her. 
I'm not a journaler. And she's like, I'm not either. I'm not a writer. She said, so what she does instead of writing out the whole like walkthrough of the night or whatever, she just jots down funny things that were said, just things that will draw up a memory, you know? So that's what I'm going to use all this, all this space for. You think you don't have much space, but you really do. You have four of all of this space. So it's pretty good. All right. So here's where these go. These are going to go right inside here and they're going to slide in and hopefully be almost perfect. They're not gonna hide away completely, but they're gonna be really, really close. I don't think I said this earlier, but if you wanna get any of my measurements, we'll have those in a blog post for you. So if you're wondering if I didn't say the exact size of anything, you can get it there in the blog post. All right, let's add all of these in. And then I have another spot I think we can add a little journaling space to. So this piece is eight and a half by three and a half wide and I folded it in half at four and a quarter. And I'm gonna take my corner rounder and do in the bottom for sure, I'm gonna do that. I think I'll do the top too, just because we did the top on those other little books. And this is gonna live right in here for journaling. So I'm gonna glue one side down, just like so. And I'm gonna be able to, if we're gonna do eight, eight or more dates, I'm going to need space to write about it, right? So this will give me even more space. I just think this will be cute, kind of mounted here, like so. And then it gives me all of that space to write on. And I'm going to do the same in the back. Now, I know you're thinking that's a lot of white to put in that black book, but when I'm writing, I can use gel pens and different colors and things like that. And I can doodle. Maybe I want to doodle something or who knows. I can decorate this any way I want. If you would rather have this be a photo spot or another pocket, maybe you want to do a pocket in here and add another date night ticket, that would be cute too. So think outside the box. And remember, this book doesn't have to be date night. It can be anything. So now look, two good size journaling spots. And all we need to do is decorate the front and the back. Now, I know I wanted this to be on my cover. I love this paper and I want that wide edge around it. So this is going to go on the cover and on the back. And then I'm going to decorate the cover with something cute. Let me go ahead and glue this down. I knew I wanted this kind of check. This was so me. I thought it'd be so pretty up here. So Let's put this on and then I'm going to flip it over and put the same piece on the back side. Now y'all know I love my stickers and I love my sticker border so I'm going to pull this sticker off and I think I'm going to add it something like this just running up the side for a little extra there. I think that'll be cute. That is sticky, nice and sticky. I like that. So I'm going to trim this off at the end here. Oh, <laughs> now that I look, those are multiple stickers, but that's okay. We just made one big wide border out of it. You can see I pulled all three off. So there's that. They are so cute. So originally I was going to use this sticker because it had me, not sticker, but cut apart because it has a car on it. I thought that'd be cute like dates, but look how cute this is. It says Christmas time. I love that. So I'm going to get some foam and pop that up on the front. So I've got this guy with some foam, but I've just sat him here while I lay things out. And I want to show you something I think I want to do. I have this little lock and key that I think will be so cute. And I'm going to mount this here. And this comes with teeny, teeny, tiny brads. I'm not joking. They are teeny tiny. So what I'm going to do is put this in place on a little piece of cardstock. Then I'm going to poke holes with my pokey tool where those brads go. One goes here. I'm telling y'all the truth. They are tiny. So if you have young eyes somewhere you can borrow, that'd be a good thing. All right. And now I'm going to see if I can do this. <laughs> Here's what'll probably happen. We will cut away because you're not going to watch me struggle because I feel like I'm going to struggle here. All right. Let's see if I can make that a little bigger. Move that. Let's move that out of the way and make it a little bigger. All right. Line that up. Y'all probably can't even see these brads. They're so tiny. So the brads are tight to get them through there. They're very tight. That's good. They won't fall out, but you really have to work them in there. Once you got the brads through, I'm going to take my pokey tool to the back and just separate those prongs down to hold that in. Okay, let's get this side. That wasn't the worst. They are tiny. They are. So I got my little lock I'll use in a few minutes. But see, this way it gives me somewhere to glue this down. And I think it will be cute. Put that there. And then this little lock, like here, kind of like it's a diary, you know, having a little lock on it. And then I want to put something down here. 
Let's go ahead and mount this because I know where it's going. And the lock, I'm just going to glue down. So I'm going to be a little tongue-in-cheek here. <laughs> and I found this little cut apart that says love. I found this little arrow that says tis the season and on this sheet there's the number four again it's a little cheesy but that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to do tis the season right to the edge over here like so and just stick that straight down and then i'm going to put number uh, this word love straight down and put the four in between them i think it'll be cute it's a date album a date night album so i think it'll be cute so stick this right here and then the number four is the season four and it's not super super obvious I know it's there so it's a little tongue-in-cheek all right last thing I'm gonna do is add a little ribbon to the spine I will probably come back and add the word date night here just use a little um, font stamp or maybe print it on my computer or something I don't know I may not I may wait and put um, I don't know the year or who knows I don't know what I'm gonna do there but I do want to add a little ribbon so with the ribbon, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run two pieces through. I got a piece of twine and a piece of kind of organza ribbon. And I'm gonna open this up and just run it through like the first, the first little page section here onto the spine. Pull this up to the top. Make sure I get that lined up correctly. Here we go. And I'm just gonna tie this. So I moved the knot down a tiny bit off the top, and I'm not going to tie my twine. I am going to tie this in a bow, the little organza ribbon. I think that'll be cute in a bow. I should have mentioned, I did not. If you're hearing noise in the background, <laughs> I didn't think about it, but Shannon is filming um, our Dashing Through the um, Stamps video. She's filming her one of hers. This is like her fourth, I think, maybe fifth she's done. She's done a bunch. So she's filming behind me. So if you hear a little ink, pads and stuff like that that's what it is all right so i'm gonna clean this up just a tiny bit i kind of like that bow being like that all right and now i'm gonna trim by the way these scissors are amazing for ribbon they are so good i'm just gonna get this guy like that and then this guy over here like that okay so i have a little bow on the side which is hard for you to see but you can see i've got that little bow there and then i'm gonna take my key and tie it on to a piece of twine here so this is the key to the front I'm just going to knot it. That'll be cute. So there's one. Let's do it one more time. Then I'm going to let it fray because I think that'll be cute. So just fray that little edge like so. So there's our little key hanging. And I'm going to tie the other side of my twine in a knot and fray it as well. So that way it'll just hang down there beside it. That's cute. So there you go, guys. This is my album pretty much done. Again, I'm going to decide on my title. I don't know if I want to call it like Vinny and Me or Date Night Christmas. I don't know what I want to put in my little title thing, so I'm going to wait on that. All right, so let's do a walkthrough. I know you want to see that, so I'm going to just lay it here and open it up. So here's our little journaling spot. Here's our first place for a photo, more photos. Here's our first little date night ticket. Isn't this cute? And you just run through. Now, there's a lot of decorating you can add as you go. Each one of these can have stickers from the paper pack. There's no telling. You might get have a ticket from, like, going on an event. Uh, maybe you want to put some gift wrap in here. Wouldn't that be cute? There's so many things you can do. Not to mention all of our journaling space inside our little pockets, our little um, little books in there and more journaling on the back. I hope you guys like this. We tried to do something different. I thought the date night was really cute. Um, you could make this an advent book. Um, you could make it a 12 days of Christmas. You can make it a countdown book. There's so many things you can do. If you do December daily, this would be an adorable December daily book. It's small and easy to manage and super easy to decorate. All right, you know the deal. If you make one, I want to see it. And I also want to know what you would use this book for in the month of December. So tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. We got a bazillion videos coming at you in July. It feels like a bazillion and it probably is close to it. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos. And until next time, bye now.